Hey there YouTubers, unboxing video time. So should have a new uh, motherboard in here. So let's go ahead and get it open. Alright, so here we go. Asus Prime Z390P. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box before we open this up. Now obviously I've been spending a lot of time, folks, on Z490s. And, uh, you know, have not really... Uh, had a need to go pick up some older motherboards, but uh, this was a heck of a deal on the good old Amazon, and I do actually need another Z390, so we had, went ahead and got one. Um, you know, I'm still in Africa, and stuff comes here, it gets a little dinged up, as you can see there, so hopefully the contents are good. Uh, let me completely flip this over, and the lighting is not so great, but... Uh, yeah, this, even with a really good camera, it'd be hard to see what the back of this says, folks. So, we're just going to jump into it. Hopefully, I won't miss anything. I haven't actually done an uh, unboxing of a motherboard in, feels like, at least a month. Uh, we do have a couple other ones that are going to show up here. But, uh, I am planning on uh, either my i9-9900KF going in this, i5-9600K, i7-8700K, uh, one of those three CPUs will most likely end up in here. All right, get this open. I'm gonna let pull out uh, the motherboard. And we'll look at the accessories first, and then we'll get into what's in here. Now, obviously, like I said, I'm not home where I have my awesome studio, uh, so we have to make do with what we have. All right, folks. So here's your I/O shield. You know I'm not a big fan of those. I like the ones that are built in, but a couple of SATA cables here for uh, transferring your old data. We've got some uh, standoffs as well as two M.2 screws in there, it would appear, and a couple more. So uh, there's another, uh, possibly another standoff and another screw. Here is our user guide as well as a installation disk. Now, one thing I do have with me is a portable drive, folks. So, um, as long as it takes for me to get these files off the internet and download them, I uh, might actually break that out. So, I don't know what this is. If you happen to uh, see this and you want to pick this up, help yourself. Cable mod cables, never heard of that. Um, and that's about all. Now, you know, I buy a lot of gigabyte motherboards. Um, and obviously, Asus, as well as ASRock. This looks like a pretty good manual, folks. Uh, print is actually readable. And lots of nice pictures in here. So we may need this as we look at our uh, motherboard. Let's go ahead and get it out of the wrapping. Alright, so I'll try and go over all these features without referring to the user guide. Uh, we may have to uh, step back and uh, actually get into the user guide because, you know, sometimes I don't know everything about these motherboards. Alright, so here's your uh, where your CPU is going to go. LGA 1151 get that open you'll do that and there's only one way this CPU is going to fit in here folks so um, I will eventually do an installation video um, and show you guys that alright here's basically a uh, 1x8 CPU power connector this is uh, going to come from your power supply you have two fan headers for a CPU cooler which is uh, nice. This is one of those motherboards that you will be able to overclock. Four DDR4 288 pin slots. Now offhand I can't tell you what RAM speed this is capable of. Uh, in case you are interested though in a particular 
type of RAM, you're going to need to go to the motherboard manufacturer and find out what's compatible, okay? Uh, a lot of people will go, hey, will this support 3200 megahertz RAM? Well, yeah, it's going to, but uh, it might not be the brand that you have. That's why you have to go to the website. All right, so I don't know if this is a uh, BIOS switch. Hopefully I'll remember to check that out. This might support uh, dual BIOS. Here's your 24-pin uh, ATX power supply connector. USB 3.0 connector. This is going to come most likely from your case. There is a uh, second one there, okay? So if you have a case that has four USB 3.0s, uh, this is a good motherboard for that, okay? A lot of motherboards don't actually have two of those. So as I found out quite a few times... All right, so we see, um, surprise there's not more of these. We've got four SATA headers on here. A lot of times you have six, but this motherboard's only got four. These will be your front panel connectors, all right, if you can even read that. Uh, unfortunately, we're not filming in 4K in this video. And part of the reason for that is how terribly long it takes to upload video here in Africa. As I stated, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and you can see there's a uh, missing slot there. Um, it says USB 1.3, and this should be another, I'm sorry, that's uh, COM. This is probably your HD audio right here, and yeah, it's missing that pin. Um, back behind here looks like a RGB, addressable RGB. I'll double check that though. Don't want to give you guys bad gouge. Um, so this has two sets of uh, PCI 3.0 by 16. This one looks a little nicer than this one, but it's not a uh, reinforced metal one. You've got uh, four sets of the smaller uh, one-inch ones. There's your CMOS battery. And, of course, if uh, you make some changes in the BIOS and you can't get the computer to boot, a lot of times you pop this out with a uh, flathead over on this area, completely get the battery out of there. 30 seconds later, you will uh, be able to boot back up. So it looks like we have, uh, here's one M.2 slot. And then a second one there. Uh, it would appear the standoff is going to go, uh, let's say you have a 2280. Yeah, it should be 2280 right there. You will put that in and then insert your M.2 and screw it into where the, uh, the standoff goes there. Now, some additional uh, fan headers up here. And this would be uh, possibly, one of these would probably be for a uh, rear case fan. Interesting enough, there aren't a lot of, I don't even think I see any other fan headers back on this side, folks. Uh, which is interesting. Now, here are your uh, connectors. Of course, to use the video on the motherboard, you must have a CPU that does not have an F in it. So if you were to buy an i5-9600KF, uh, you would not be able to use this HDMI or DisplayPort. So you want something that uh, either is like a i5-9600K, i7-9700K, um, that will work with this. But most likely if you buy those CPUs, you're going to have a graphics card. So, all right. So, the old school uh, PS2 connectors for keyboard and mouse. Some people uh, like those. And, uh, you know, every time I say something about them that's not positive, I get flack. So, we're not going to say anything this time. You've got some, uh, looks like next gen USB um, 3.0s. Probably uh, 3.2. We'll double check that in a second. Some more 3.0, so quite a few of those. Uh, it's kind of nice that I do not see USB 2.0 connectors back here. 
here is your uh, Ethernet, and then you have um, microphone, headphone, and then a line out. So let's just uh, take a look at the user manual and see if we missed anything. All right, so just because I may not use the exact terminology that you guys want to see, we're going to take a look at the user manual. Here are your uh, rear panel connectors, all right? So there's your numbers, and then we're going to go from here to discuss what they are. Mainly, we're going to look at uh, what number 8 is on the next page. But there's what you have there, LAN RJ45 port, in case you wanted uh, something better than what I said, Ethernet. And let's check out the back. So line in port, blue, line out, there. And then we get to six USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, HDMI port as I called out. And then there's what 8 is, USB 3.1 Gen 2, up to 10 gigabytes per second port, display port as I said. So there's that. Now we'll take a look at the motherboard itself and check to see if I missed anything there that you guys care about. All right, folks, so hopefully you can see this. Um, here's your motherboard layout. And hopefully that's in focus. You may need a bigger screen. Here are the corresponding numbers that go with that. I'm sure uh, I didn't call out every exact thing on here. But uh, there you go. So, hey, thanks for checking out the video. And let me tell you what we have in store for this, okay? We are eventually going to... Uh, do an installation video and then uh, from there I will also update the BIOS for you. We'll probably do some overclocking with it and uh, see how that goes. Like I said, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.